Hello curls, it's the holiday season and I am ready to give you a fierce style for the holidays, so stay tuned. So this is the style we're going to be doing and stick around because I'm showing you these products and how to use them. I'm going to be giving away a whole collection so you better stay tuned and learn about that. I hope you guys are ready to do this style. Um, before we get started, I do want to tell you that... Um, after adding all those products, my hair was damp, so it was a bit difficult to do the flat twist for the middle section. Um, I had to let that dry a little bit, and I also used a blow dryer just on the ends of the hair where I was actually going to be doing the flat twist. I didn't use the blow dryer on my... Um, roots because I wanted my roots roots to be thick because that's what's holding this up is how thick you know our hair is but just to be able to twist it better um, I lightly used the blow dryer on the ends which I did not record that process in this video um, so it's kind of self-explanatory just blow dry the very ends of your hair with like a um, paddle brush just so it's easier to two strand twist basically or to flat twist um, so yeah, so we're using our thick roots as like a bed and we're twisting the hair on top of that of our roots basically and I do want to shout out this um, stylist from Baltimore. Sorry, Shada, if I'm saying your name wrong, I'm so sorry. But she is a stylist out of Baltimore. And she was at this event I was at in D.C. And she did this beautiful style on a natural, um, naturalista. But she actually did she blow dried her hair and she did a roller set in the middle so her hair would be really sleek and um she did the style but of course you know i wanted to do this on like our natural state of our hair because i want people to be able to do that without using heat so again without using heat it is a bit difficult because trying to flat twist the hair lift it up is hard with our texture but it is possible and i can imagine that it'll be better if you like redid the style like the next day or maybe two days later because our hair would be more stretched but just keep in mind that for the winter hydration is important so you know a blow dryer is helpful because we don't want to go outside and have our hair wet but at the same time we do want moisture so don't use heat too much just make sure your hair is dry before you go outside or at least semi dry and protect it in a protective style um, but anyway I'm rambling so let's get started with the style so as you can see I've prepped my hair I have the center section which is kind of like a mohawk and I just have it in a bun um, and then the two sides I have it in bantu knots just to have it sectioned off. First, we're gonna be using their leave-in conditioner, which has amazing benefits to this product. First of all, it um, has long-lasting hydration. We're using this in our lock method, so of course, we're gonna add water first, but the leave-in is gonna help with that hydration. And because it's so hydrating, it really enhances your curls. Um, it also reduces frizz, there's UV protection, the slip is fabulous you guys it has a fabulous slip which makes detangling super easy anyway so here's the leave-in 
Um, as you can see, it was pretty white in color, but as you, you know, mix it together, it kind of disappears. And immediately putting this on my hair, oh my fro. <laughs> like seriously, the slip is crazy. Oh my god. I love it. So that was the leave-in. We're now going to go in with another hydrating product. This is their Exotic Buttercream Hydrator, which is my second favorite next to the, um, the Cream Jelly Styler, which I'll get into that later. The good thing for you guys um, is when you use this product, you get super soft, hydrated, healthy looking hair. It gives you a dramatic shine. It defines your curls and you'll have less frizz. And again, this is a, another weightless product just like the leave-in. It's going to make your hair fluffy, not weighed down. So that's what it looks like. It's very um, creamy. What we're going to do next is we're going to be using their argan oil to really, which it's been through a lot. <laughs> Raw and vegan North African argan oil. So I'm going to put that on top because I just feel like oils oils help the um, product really, um, of course, seal it all in. And I think it gets the white residue away as well. We're going to be doing a flat twist on this section. So I want to make sure that's super detangled. Alright, so next we're going to separate this front piece right here, and we are going to be doing a flat twist. And I'm going to be using an edge control up here, but we'll get to that in another video, because I really want to just shout out Entwine Couture right now. So as I'm to, um, flat twisting, I am making sure I have each section Separate it really nicely and make sure that it's nice and smooth. And we're twisting this all the way down to detangle again. And we're going to twist it all the way down, but um, when we get to the middle, we're going to we're gonna add this um, section to the middle section to make it really flow. Okay, so I have my two flat twists in now. So now we're going to do a huge giant flat twist at the middle. And we are going to lift it up so it's not sitting on, you know, our head tightly. Now I'm going to use the hair pick to lift it up a bit. We're all done the hard part of flat twisting on damp hair. <laughs> so now we're going to use a hair pick to lift it up so it's not so flat. Um, and also we're going to use edge control to slick down our edges. And of course our hair is afro textured. So we need to use a scarf to really lay down the hair. So we're going to keep the scarf on for a few minutes. I 
hasn't been on that long, but let's see if it did anything. Yeah, it's laid down just a little bit, right? So I use the edge control and then put the scarf on to lay it down a bit. Um, it hasn't been on that long, but of course, keep it on longer to really get that sleek look. So now I'm just going to kind of mess it up a little bit. Get it big a little bit. Um, also, a hair pick. You can use a hair pick because again, we didn't we didn't twist this to our scalp, so we can lift this up. You can lift it up with the pick, um, but because our hair is so thick, um, and we only twisted it on the outside or at the top, it should be okay. Lay this down right here. And bobby pins are our friend. So I think that looks much better like that. You guys get the gist of this style. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, check out Entwine Couture at EntwineCouture.com. And stay tuned for this giveaway graphic because somebody's going to get the entire Entwine Couture collection. But of course, you have to do your work to win. So um, make sure you follow all the rules. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy holidays. Mwah.